All right. Uh, Last of Us, episode three. Yep. So. It's a long one. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a long one. It comes out on Sundays, which is today. But mm-hmm. I tried, <laughs> I, uh, it airs on HBO. And it airs on HBO two separate nights. So it does not go to uh, my oh, streaming service re- until it's fully aired all oh, the, all the re- uh, time it. slots. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it plays like six or seven times today. And then it plays like two or three times on Tuesday. Oh, okay. So I can't watch it till Wednesday. Oh, okay. I mean, I watched it on Wednesday because that's when it was on my streaming service too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before this episode came out, I knew there was a lot of review bombing going on, but I didn't really know why. Mm-hmm. And well, before you watched it or before it came out? Before I watched it and before it came out. Like, I, all I heard well, not was before that. it came out, but before I watched it. Like after it came out, I heard a lot of people. There was like a lot of like articles and shit about review bombing The Last of Us after episode three. And I was like, OK. Well, why would that be? <laughs> Yeah. And I didn't really, I didn't read anything about it or look anything into it. But all, all I heard was that it was a cinematic masterpiece and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. I the didn't, I didn't hear that. Thing ever. I didn't hear that. That's, I heard that's that all there I heard. was a lot of review bombing. So, I mean, this episode, the majority of it is, I don't even remember their names. Rick and Barry? Larry? <laughs> Harry? Bill and. Uh, I'm not even close. Bill and. Jack? Yeah, Jack. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. Bill and Jack. Okay. It's about them because these are people that Joel and Tess knew. They were the ones doing the radio shit where they'd send each other secret messages by broadcasting like a song from the 80s meant this and a song from the 90s meant this, blah, 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 whatever. And the majority of the episode is them too in their compound they have and how Bill, I think, is the one played by Nick Offerman. Yeah, Bill. He had his little, he hid in his basement when they were evacuating and he stayed and he's like a prepper guy (laughs) and he like took over this sort of neighborhood in the city as his own compound. He was in his element and loving it. Yeah. Well, he was like a conspiracy theorist. (laughs) We thought the government was Nazis and stuff like that. Um, So I was like, okay, Nick Offerman, that's cool. Whatever. He's doing his little prepping thing, whatever. And then later in the episode, Jack gets, falls in one of his pit traps and Jack pulls him out of the hole. So... As soon as I saw Nick and another bearded man in the hole in the ground, I was like, I get it. I know exactly why it was getting review bombed. Obviously, these two dudes are gay. And that's got to be why, right? Uh, so, yeah, that was the reason why I was getting review bombed. Because it, they expanded on the game about their gayness, basically. Because in yeah. the game, there's it's implied that he's gay. Well, yeah. It's, yeah, I guess it's implied. I haven't played it, but from what I understand, it implies that he's gay. Yeah, what we heard from people who have played it is that, yeah, it is implied that he's gay, and none of this, that everything Yeah, in they this didn't show their is, life together for no. seven years or whatever. No, he's just a, when you meet him in the game, he's just a rambling, insane guy. He's crazy conspiracy man, and then it's like, oh, this guy's dead. He's strung up in the house. Like, who is this guy? And you just said, oh, that was my partner. <laughs> and that was kind of where they left it so that was why it was getting review bombed because they're gay and because they spend so much time on their life together basically yeah. um and yeah this episode was 80 minutes long so it was it like was a long long, yeah. long episode for sure um the acting i thought was really good in it oh yeah for sure uh, I don't like Nick Offerman. He's more known for his comedic stuff in um, was it Parks and Recreation Parks and Rec, yeah. he was in as being this like, oh, well, it's going to sound. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, sort of the straight man on the show, <laughs> not in a sexual way, but yeah. like he was kind of like straight and narrow on the up and up. Uh, he just sort of it wasn't like cracking jokes, but he said things like, you know, the straight man, you got to have the straight man because then it's funny. Yeah. Um. The, the construction guy. Yeah, like a rugged man's man. Yeah. And then in this one, it's like, he's still a rugged man's man, but he's also gay. <laughs> yep. So, um, but it shows their life from when they meet. And he's very much like, you know, who's this dude? Like, yeah. what are you here to steal to when they fall in love, basically? fall. I guess they don't fall in love. They fall in lust. <laughs> <laughs> then they fall in love eventually. And it's their life from, you know, when they meet till when they die. Yeah. 
when they kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I liked the episode a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was too long. Nah. I, I think they could have condensed it down. Yeah, I mean, it was long, but I didn't find it too long. There was no part where I was just like, oh my God, what was the point <laughs> of this even? Yeah, I guess everything kind of fit. I guess everything kind of fit. Uh, it wasn't the cinematic emotional masterpiece that everyone was making it out to be from, you know, from the things that I had read. I didn't think it was a cinematic masterpiece. or anything. I never read that, so I never thought that too. But I thought it was a very emotional episode. Um, Nick Offerman, like, <laughs> I thought he did a great job. Like, Oh, he sure did. You know, portraying a, like, a gay man who has never been with another man basically very like shy in that way to being like at the end when they're like you know they get married at the end of it right <laughs> yeah so um yeah i just yeah well like when they was two bearded men i was like okay they're they're gonna be gay for each other obviously <laughs> yeah <laughs> not that a beard means you're gay <laughs> just want to put that out there but yeah. uh yeah. No, I thought it was great. I thought it was good. Yeah. It could have been shorter, in my opinion. Uh, the yeah. best part, I think, was the strawberries. I really like the strawberries. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> um, the, I don't know, like, there was a lot of emotional bits uh, in it. Like, when they were reading the letter at the end, and it's like, take this guns and protect, and she wouldn't read, like, Tess, yeah. you know? But there's also like some funny moments too, like when they had the, their showers at the end, and she's, she's like, "Wow, you really cleaned up nice." He's like, "Shut up." <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. I want to see where it's gonna go next. I mean, I knew that they couldn't just recreate the game one to oh, yeah. one. Like, oh, yeah. come on, it's a video game. <laughs> yep. It's gonna have to have some like actual backstory to the other characters, because sure. otherwise, who the fuck cares about a screaming crazy man? Yeah. Imagine that would, that that would, would be not have made good yeah. entertainment just coming across a screaming man with yeah. very little background. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, no, this it tugged on my heartstrings for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For get sure. A little, get a little weepy. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it little was weepy. pretty. It was pretty emotional. Huh. I, I thought I did not get teary and I get teary at like cheese spread commercials. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. Maybe it was because you were expecting it to be super yeah, that's, ramped that's... up, whereas I had no. I just knew there was the like review bombing, so I didn't know like what would it be like. There's a strong female lead, or there's a new. The character's now brown <laughs> instead of white. Like, <laughs> what could cause the review bombing? Yeah, right? right, right. So yeah, that's probably what it is. Is that I was expecting it to be just way like, better than what it, it was, was. going to be like the end scene of Schindler's List, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you want to see tears. Yeah. It's that scene right there. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what the next episode is. But yeah, this was the Nick Offerman show. And the, oh, yeah, and the sure. other guy show. I don't know who that guy was. But, yeah, uh, me neither. But yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. And sure. it was interesting. Definitely see, didn't need to be a review bomb. That's for it sure. It was definitely interesting to see Tess back in there. Because in the flashback. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she wasn't all beat up and oh, haggard yeah, yeah. and shit. Like she, <laughs> I was like, what test? What? Oh, yeah. Flashback. She, like, if you think to when she was in the early episode, she looked like fucking all beat up. Oh, yeah, and the same was... thing with um, Pedro Pascal. Like, yeah. He didn't have all his like old person makeup on and shit. <laughs> so he looked like a young dude. Yeah. Tess was just beat from episode one. Yeah. But <laughs> she looks her. like she looks like a, you know, whatever, like 40 year old woman. Whereas in the. Yep. The other one, she looked like a 40-year-old woman who's ridden hard and put away wet. <laughs> You're welcome. So, yeah, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. And I think every, the other thing, too, is like a lot of people are saying, giving Bella Ramsey shit and, you know, like, I know it's a lot of people are, it's a, a lot of people are about her looks She's not as cute as Ellie in the game or whatever. Oh, so boohoo. It's like, okay, whatever, <laughs> man. Like, seriously. Yeah, people are entitled to their opinions. Yeah, but like it's they're attacking her and stuff like that. It's That's like, dumb. Stop attacking people. She's doing a good job. Yeah, she is. Everybody's doing a good job. I don't think there's been anyone in it where I've been like, eh, that was a bad job. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, def- definitely not. Yeah. 